Did you all know that one in every 46 males and one in every 80 females can get kidney disease at some time in their lives? Well, would not be it be better if somehow an individual could identify the signs and symptom of the chronic kidney disease in the early stages? Good morning everyone, I am Dr. Purudhavan and today I will discuss with you all certain health condition that can eventually lead to chronic kidney disease. With this, we will also dive a little into how these conditions lead to kidney disease and how an individual may prevent it. Chronic kidney disease, as we all know, is a progressive disease that mainly affects the kidney in an individual. Our kidney are made up of nephrons, which are small filtering units in our kidney responsible for blood filtration. With this, they also help maintaining the balance of water and various minerals in our human body. But unfortunately, this fist sized organ gradually decreases their function owing to damage caused to the nephron due to chronic kidney disease. We all know that diabetes and hypertension are the leading cause of CKD. Diabetes, commonly known as high sugar, occur when our body doesn't produce enough insulin which controls sugar levels. These high sugar levels end up choking the blood vessels which carry blood to the kidney. Without enough blood, the kidney get damaged gradually. High blood pressure, however, means blood flowing with tremendous pressure inside the vessels. Now the blood vessels carrying the blood to the nephrons are very tiny to handle this pressure and get damaged over time causing kidney damage. But most of you don't know that other health condition can lead to the damage to the nephrons ultimately leading to the development of chronic kidney disease in an individual. Unfortunately, most people with ongoing kidney damage are unaware of these situations as there are no early sign and symptom of kidney disease. The symptom usually show after the third stage when the recovery become difficult. Therefore, I always advise everyone to get professionally checked at least once in a year for this disease. The most common health conditions which cause CKD is acute kidney injury. Acute kidney disease also known as AKI is a condition related to the kidney wherein the functioning decreases suddenly without any prominent symptoms. The intensity of this decrease can range anywhere from minor function loss to complete loss of kidney functioning prevalent in the elderly population. This branch of kidney condition stems from acute kidney disease to all disorders ultimately leading to the gradual loss of organ functioning. With acute kidney injury, kidney functioning daily stabilizes, becoming an issue in the long run. Apart from this, another condition known as glomerulonephritis can lead to chronic kidney disease. In simple terms, it is a kidney disorder that causes inflammation in the tiny filters of the kidney, leading to a decrease in the blood flow. With the decreased blood flow, this disease also creates issue in removing excess water and waste, further aggravating the condition. This disorder is usually a byproduct of an infection or an autoimmune disease. It will lead to chronic kidney disease if not treated properly. IgA nephropathy is a chronic kidney disease caused by the accumulation of protein IgA immunoglobin in the tiny filters of the kidneys. The glomeruli or the small filters are the mainly responsible for filtering out an individual's waste material and excess water. Under any circumstances, if these filters do not work, there is a possibility of severe consequences in the long run. Being an autoimmune disease, our immune system produces IgA immunoglobin which is a protein. But in an IgA patient, this protein is made even the, when the body is healthy, ultimately accumulating in the kidney's filter, gradually leading to the chronic kidney disease. The chances of contracting chronic kidney disease increases with lupus, also an autoimmune disease. Our immune system is an extensive network of organs, cells and protein that protect us from the infection and ailments. But when an individual has lupus, the immune system starts attacking the healthy cells and the organ of the body by creating antibodies. This directly affects the kidney, resulting in organ swelling, thereby not letting them filter the waste and blood from the body. Kidney infections are not very common but can occur due to very common bacteria, which is E. coli. These bacteria can travel to the urinary tract causing infections. 
kidney infection usually start as a urinary tract infection which are relatively common the urinary system consists of the bladder urethra kidney and ureters urinary tract infection are common in women and occur mainly via bacteria that travels from skin and enters to the urinary tract if left untreated this bacteria can travel to the kidneys and causing infections when this infection stays in the body for a longer time it can gradually turns into the pyelonephritis which can cause swelling of the kidneys gradually this swelling and the damage caused uh, to the kidney can turn into chronic kidney disease in a human being with this another prominent cause of chronic kidney disease is polycystic kidney disease this is a genetic disorder that causes numerous fluid filled cysts to form in the kidney leading to the disfiguring gradually there are mainly two type of polycystic kidney which can slowly turns into the chronic kidney disease if left untreated besides many other lifestyle factors can contribute to chronic kidney disease such as smoking kidney stones high cholesterol level obesity liver failure and heavy drinking all precaution should be taken to ensure that these factors are always controlled so that they don't develop into chronic kidney disease at the later stages it is essential to lead a healthy lifestyle and ensure a proper diet to ensure a long and healthy life with this we have come to the end of this video i hope i was clear in explaining what other health condition may lead to chronic kidney disease with time it is necessary for everyone watching this video to have a regular checkups for any symptom that you might think are worrisome if you still have any query regarding what we discussed today please feel free to comment in the section below i will try to answer all of them see you next time till then take care.